Hey, Kerry Sullivan here with another how to kick ass in sales video coming at you today. And I had a salesperson ask me, how is it that I can get more confidence because it's really struggling. You know, this person is struggling. A lot of other people have, you know, more confidence and they feel that because of that, they're not able to get as many deals done. And, and that's absolutely true. If you don't have a lot of confidence in what you're doing, it's going to be tough to get the sale. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is you've got to believe what you're selling. Make sure you believe in what you're selling, the product, the service, whatever it is. And ideally, you want to be using it. You're selling forwards. Be driving a Ford, right? You know, you got to be able to have that kind of conviction about it and believe in that product and or service or whatever it is you're selling. I know sometimes it can be difficult to actually have the product depending on what you're selling, but you want to believe in it through and through and ideally you want to be using it. Uh, the second thing that you want to be doing is you want to use three different things and get them all aligned one with another. So that is your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, and your self-image. Those three things are lined up together, right? In alignment, there isn't a damn thing in the world that you cannot do. Listen to me and feel me on this one more time. When your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, and your self-image are all aligned with each other, there's nothing that you can't accomplish, right? So here's how that works. So when you start getting into sales and you haven't done sales before, it's awkward, right? You're stumbling over your words. You don't know what to say. You're getting nervous. And that's the same with any kind of new skill that you pick up. When you first start throwing a ball or when you first started walking, you were falling all over the place, right? Well, what happened was you kept practicing, right? You kept practicing with your walking or your throwing or whatever it is. And then it became second nature because it went into your subconscious mind. That's what happens. You practice enough. You practice enough in any situation. It goes into your subconscious mind, right? So practice, practice, practice until it becomes second nature. You know, just like tying your shoes is another example of that. Brushing your teeth, other example of that, right? So it just became habitual, right? And then it can go right into your subconscious mind. The third thing is, is that you got to have that self image, right? So you get the conscious mind, right? So you practice things and then you want to have the self image, but it's also important with the conscious mind. The conscious mind will direct the subconscious mind to do anything. So throw that ball, boom, goes and throws it. I'm going to throw this ball. Perfect. Boom. Throw the ball. Perfect. Right? So that's how you do there. So, and then you're going to go into the self image, right? Because you've got to have the self image that you can go out there and actually sell, right? So it's not just enough to have the skills, right? To get it done and be thinking, all right, I got to go do this. But if you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I can really do that. You don't have the, the inner, right? That inner knowing. It's the feeling. It's the difference between thinking you can and knowing you can, right? Morpheus from the Matrix said that. There's a difference. Let me repeat that one more time. Listen to me and feel me. There's a difference between thinking you can thinking you can and knowing you can, right? And that knowing comes like, that's a, like a feeling, a deep down feeling. So, you know, athletes, great example of this. You know, when they get up there and then they're in there and the top ones are in that pressure situation, they're not thinking or like, oh, I hope I make this shot or I hope I can throw this ball the right way. No, they know. They're like, give me the ball. I am making this, right? So it's the same thing within sales, right? You got to have that self image that you can in fact go out there and do that. So how do you develop that? Right? How do you get into that state right away? And you got to get it done, right? Because you go into that sales call or whatever it is, you got to be able to generate that feeling like that. You got to be able to push everything else outside of you out and get in that state just like that. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to start thinking to yourself, how would the top salesperson in the world be going at this? What would they do? So the first thing you're going to start thinking is what would they be thinking? What would the top salesperson in the world be thinking? They would be thinking, I've got this. I'm prepared for it. No matter what comes my way, I know I'm going to be able to get this deal done, right? So they're thinking and they're getting that, that going. The next thing you're going to be asking yourself is how would they be holding their body? Right, so if you look at people um, who are depressed, they're not feeling about themselves, their body posture will show it. You know, think about when you're sad and like your head's down, your shoulders are slumped in, you know, you're just not in a good state. So, the top, but how would the top salesperson in the world be holding their body? Right, it'd be up, right? Their, their head would be up, their shoulders would be, you know, pushed back, they'd be in that state, right? 
they get that that confidence posture about themselves. Superman position, right? Look out! How does Superman stand, right? He's he's got his hands on his hips. He's ready to go. He's the man, right? Chest out, all that. So you're getting into that state. You're starting to feel good that way. And then this is the last piece of this is getting into state. Is how would the top salesperson in the world be breathing? And you get into that breath, right? And it's gonna be deep, steady breaths, right? Of confidence, right? Just going in and getting it done. So you get into that, you breathe it, you think it, you get your posture up, and you start breathing like it, and then you go in there and you execute, right? So if any one of these things though is out of whack, or you're lacking in any one of the two, things are gonna get messed up, right? There's some people out there who are super cocky and they're like, oh, I got this, I'm the man, I can do this, but they don't have the skills to get it done, right? They can't flip over to their subconscious mind and use their superior skills to get it done. They've got the self-image, but they don't have the other goods. And then sometimes it's the other way around. People get you know, the skills, right? They get the skills, but they don't have, but they don't have that self-image to go and get it done. Or sometimes they've got the skills and they've got the self-image to get it done, but the thoughts in their mind are going monkey mind. They're thinking about other things, man. They're thinking about the baseball game or what am I going to watch on TV or what am I going to do with my wife tonight? Whatever it may be, they're not directing their mind. Right? They're not getting laser sharp focus in and directing their mind, right? So that's how you do it. So hey, let me tell you something. If you take everything I just utilized right there and told you about, that right there will make you millions of dollars. Millions and millions in selling, right? Because you get paid on performance, the sky's the limit. Make it billions. Why not? Right? Set the sky high. Set the sky high. Set the limits high. Set the limits sky high. How's that? All right, that's it. That's how to kick ass sales. How to kick ass in sales. I'm getting all excited, missing words left and right here. So that is today's how to kick ass in sales video. I'll see you on the next video. Hey, if you like this, feel free to share it. Make it in comments below. That is it. I am Kerry Sullivan, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.